So why is this glass so significant to the beer we're about to review? It's beer o'clock and from the Brasserie Le Ferbre, we have a bottle of their Hopus coming in at 8.3% ABV. Now, some interesting facts about the brewery, as always, and the beer. The brewery's been around since 1876, but Hopus, this beer here, first brewed in 2008, and it was developed for the wedding of Paul Lefebvre. Um, and obviously, it went down well, and they decided to um, market and sell it afterwards. But in the marketing and the selling of this beer, these are the interesting facts, right? It's a highly competitive market, the, the Belgian beer market, obviously. And they wanted to do something different um, and give the consumer something different to a standard sort of 8.3% hoppy ale. There's six hops in this, for starters. So it's going to be really, really hoppy. But they decided on producing two glasses for this beer so this is the, this is the beer glass which is a fantastic looking glass and then as you see in the intro we have this little glass what you actually do and we'll show you in a minute we'll just pour it out if you pour the beer as normal and as you know you'll have the yeast at the bottom the yeast then goes in this glass so let's get this open and give it a pour and get it how it's meant to be. So, I do like these flip tops. Sometimes they do a... Look at that! And the smoke. Fantastic crack that went. So, let's get this beer into the glass. That's fantastic, isn't it? isn't it? And then we'll shake the yeast up. Well, just let that settle the yeast. So, first impressions of this beer, as you can see, look at the carbonation in that. It's a very, very lively beer. It's got a, well, a good five finger head on it. And it's a lovely golden colour. You can see straight through this, it's beautiful. Um, what I say you do is, here's the beer. Here's your yeast. And this is how they actually serve it up to you in a pub. So if you go in a bar, a pub, in Belgium, this is how it will come to you on the table. And it will come to you with this great big head like this as well, frothing at the top. Um, yeah, it looks like you want to put a flake in it, doesn't it? But, you know, it's fantastic. So we'll get the aroma of the beer as it is. You know, it's really, really floral. You're getting that yeasty tingle on your on your nose. Yeah, it's really, really nice floral, citrus, fruits. I'm getting a little bit of pepperiness there, but all in all, it's 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 really really nice smelling. So what we meant to do is in 
you taste the beer as it is here. Without giving yourself a moustache of foam. And what you find with this beer is now quite sharp and very, very bitter. You then get the yeast and give a try of the yeast. Which again, is really, really yeasty, really, really bitter. Very, very dry. And then you drink it the third way by you drop the yeast into the glass. And I don't know if you can see this, the cloud of that yeast now is all clouding through that beer. It's totally changed the appearance of that beer now and it should change the taste. Now, some people in Belgium will drink this is a shot before they have it, a shot after they have the beer, or they will tip it in like we've just done. Um, some people will take a sip of the beer like we have, um, without the yeast in, a sip of the yeast, tip it in. There's all different manners of ways you can you can drink this beer. So we're now going to go for the aroma. Now we drop the yeast in. Still the same, citrus, fruit, floral, a bit of pepperiness there. You haven't got so much of a tingle on your nose of the of the yeast of the the beer, you know, which you get with a lot of a, the Belgian beers. Let's dive in and give it a taste. Add in that yeast. Turns this beer from quite a sharp beer in the first taste to now it's a lot smoother. There's still plenty of carbonation in there. You can see there the carbonation. Look at that, look. Highly carbonated, come from the bottom of that glass. And the taste is now sort of worth really well balanced. There's a spiciness there, a pepperiness, an intense bitterness, and that's down to the six hops in this. It is such a beautiful drinking beer. Um, I always love to have this when I'm in Belgium in a bar. Especially on a hot, real hot day, it's a fantastic, you know, even though it's got all them hops in it, it's such a refreshing beer. It's quite powerful with the hops in here, but it's elegant at the same time. It's a beer, you can take big, big mouthfuls of, or you can just sip. It's entirely up to you. I would love to know the hops that are in this beer, because it's got all the notes of um, like a Belgium triple, but really, truthfully, you might as well call this a double triple. <laughs> it's um, it's fantastic, you know, six hops, and it's just perfect to taste. I, 
I prefer this to a double IPA any day of the week. It's just, it's just in a class of its own. This bitter, dry aftertaste is so refreshing. It's a bit. It's a bit like having a gin and tonic, really. It's, you know, a, a gin and tonic's quite dry, um, but also so refreshing. And this is similar. You know, it's bitter, it's dry, but really, really feels refreshing. It feels nice on the mouth. It's silky on the tongue. Um, I can't praise this beer up enough, to be honest. Um, for me, it's a five out of five every day of the week. Um, it's nice and interesting the way which you, you pour the beer and consume the beer with the little glass. Um, it's a beer you need to try. It's one of them beers, in, it's another one you try before you, you know, before you die. Beers to try before you die. Um, see if you can get hold of a bottle. I, I got it from a Belgium in a box. Um, it's quite reasonable Belgium in a box. Um, you can actually buy it, I think, four four of these uh, bottles, the glass and everything for something about 20 euros it's you know which is really really good um, buy a bottle, try it, see what you think, leave a comment below give us a thumbs up if you like the review hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new review um, also a lot of the glasses and that I use, there's all links in the description and that you can click on if you want to get yourself any um, craft beer glasses and obviously thanks to all you subscribers for obviously making this channel because without you we're nothing and like I always say beer is the answer but I cannot remember the question thank you for watching good night